Hey everyone, this is Nate with Grower's House and today I'm going to show you a test that we've been waiting to do for a long time. Um, this test we're doing today is the 1000 watt high intensity discharge, um, most specifically high pressure sodium 1000 watt bulb test. Um, we've recruited 8 different 1000 watt HPS grow lights within the hydroponic industry. Um, some of the most popular lights that uh, you probably see in your local hydroponic store or online. Um, we have Hortilux, Ushio, Digilux, the Advanced Nutrients Badass Bulb, the Solus Tech 1000 watt HPS, Lumatech, Maxloom, Grow Light, and we actually threw in an Ultra Sun Dual Arc Bulb so that we could see the difference really that Dual Arcs are putting out versus just strictly HPS. Now, Dual Arcs, um, for those that don't know, are actually a combination of HPS and Metal Halide, and it's a 600 watt HPS and a 400 watt metal halide inside of one bulb. So to run this test, we used um, our PAR meter um, over a footprint in, using the OG vertical reflector. And this footprint actually had went out to about 18 inches each way. And we just measured at these seven points with our PAR meter so we could see how much light output these bulbs are putting out and how well their dispersion is um, using the same reflector, same ballast um, for all bulb tests. Now for this, we also used a Phantom 1000 watt ballast um, and uh, we let each bulb warm up for 20 minutes prior to measuring it so that we could be consistent and allow the bulbs proper warm up time to get to their operating temperature. So let's jump into the text or into the test and uh, We'll show you how we did it and we'll show you the results and uh, we'll see how these bulbs did. Okay, so we took our readings for the bulb test and uh, we also have a longer explanation on our infographic of exactly how we ran it. And um, not really surprisingly, um, Hortilux came in first in our test, doing about 10% better than the next best bulb, the Ushio, and a little bit better still than the Digilux. Um, and those three bulbs did still about, even the Digilux did about 10% better than the next bulb, which um, ended up being the badass bulb from Advanced Nutrients. But notice that the Solus Tech and the Lumatech and uh, the Max Loom bulb and the Grow Light were also very close um, as far as their output. They were actually within 0.01% of each other. So that leads us to believe that, you know, these bulbs are probably manufactured pretty similarly and that, um, you know, if you're going to buy a bulb in that range, you really want to just get the most bang for your buck. And the least expensive one that we carry is the Max Loom. Um, and then coming in last was the Ultrasun Dual Arc Bulb, which is comprised of a 600 watt HPS and a 400 watt metal halide. And that one came out with the least output, um, which we were a little surprised by, but um, it seems like you know the Dual Arc Bulb just isn't as efficient as your straight up HPS. So um, if you want to read more, just uh, click on the infographic in the description below. That's Nate with Grover's House. Have a good one.